Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bupesh once again for you all recording one more question of recording or uh, reading. That is that we say is tongue twister recording, reading or right. Sorry. Okay. So now this question is also one of my favorites. Uh, I somehow remember it and I don't know how much do I remember it, but still I will solve in front of you. This extract inform us that. So it's just want to know what does this extract is about. So Extract from the guideline oxytocin. Oxytocin dosage and administration. Parent uh, Parenteral drug products should be inspected. B plus third form. That means it is a passive voice. Again, we did just the writing session. Voice plus third form, passive voice. Has been third form, passive voice. And this is the B plus third form, the last passive voice to remember. Voice third form, has been third form, B third form. Remember these passive voices. Parenteral drug product should be inspected visually for particulate matter, visually for particulate matter and discoloration. That means these drug products should be visually inspected. For what reasons? Particulate matter discoloration prior to administration whenever solution and con container permit. Dosage of the oxytocin is determined by the uterine response. Means how much dose you will give to the patient will depend upon the uterine response. So obviously uterine response means uterine response means the response of the uterus that means response of the patient. That was the trick in this question. The dosage information is below. So I remember this question. I will not overdo it. So the amount of oxytocin the dosage given will depend on how the patient responds. But again Elimination is the method. So in the exam, you will not be able to relate it that easily because I know this answer, so I could relate it. The patient will go into labor as soon as oxytocin is administered. Let's see if it is given. IV dip is the only acceptable method. Accurate control of the is essential. An infusion pump for frequent monitoring is this. For the induction, if the uterine contractions, the infusion will be abruptly stopped. Oxytocin this. So any word like this is not given what I can see. The main words again, I told you on that day, the people who are currently studying with Dr. BKM OIT Institutes, on Friday we had this conversation. As soon as are the words. These are kind of adverbs. Means they tell you, they change the intensity of the sentence. So the main, you don't have to understand the whole thing. You just need to understand. Patient will go into labor as soon as there is no line that says that as soon as you will administer the oxytocin, patient will go into labor. So this as soon as the word is the main word for elimination. The staff should inspect the oxytocin before use. That is where it is given. Parenteral drug products should be inspected. So parenteral drug products. It does not talk about oxytocin over here. So the word, the only line was this only. Inspect word was given in this line. So in this parenteral drug products, oxytocin pump should be inspected before use. Nothing was given. But I will read the next paragraph. I did not read it nicely. I will read it again so that I do not miss out on it. Otherwise, my answer is all sold. If you just want to know the answer. But if you want to learn the method, then as soon as is the main word and over here, before is the main word. Timing. Timing is very important. So before use, I need that before use, oxytocin pump should be inspected. So I need word inspected. I need oxytocin pump. So oxytocin pump is not given in first paragraph. I will read the second paragraph again. IV infusion is the only acceptable method for the administration of induction of labor. So IV infusion or the drip method. Accurate control of the rate flow is essential. An infusion pump, that is the word oxytocin pump. An infusion pump for either a monitoring fetal rate are necessary for the safe administration of oxytocin for the induction or stimulation of labor. But again, the only word I can see before word is not given. It is not given before or afterwards. If the uterine contractions become too powerful, the infusion can be stopped. Oxytocin stimulation of uterine will soon wane. So as soon as you will stop the oxytocin, the contractions will go away. So again, it is not saying that patient will go into labor as soon as, as soon as the main word again. Staff should inspect, no, parenteral drug products. So whether these products are oxidation or something else, that is not given. 
So inspect word was given only in this line. So I will compare this line only. So this is what makes it difficult. Suppose if you say, sir, in the exam, it becomes too difficult because over here it is given that, you know, that infusion pump uh, or other device frequent monitoring are necessary for the safe administration. I will say, see, it is not given before use. It is nowhere given before use. Even if you still say, sir, no, it's still a tough question. I agree with you. Now the main thing, then why are you wasting time on this question when it is tough? Do it in the second round and try to relate some words. Amount means dosage. If you are if you are relating it compulsively, then amount means dosage will depend upon the uterine response. Response means react. I told you RE words. Again, we discussed RE words are very important. RE. Response means reply, reaction. Act to every action, there is a reaction. To every action, there is a response. Response, reply, reaction are the same words. So if at all you wanted to relate anything, A option should have been related. As soon as word is not given, before word is not given, simply eliminate these kind of words and you will find OET reading a cherry cake work. Again, this is October page from Dr. B.K. Moitin Stewart. Our contact number is plus 9176-967-34256. Plus 9176-967-34256. Yeah, thank you.